Hi everyone, welcome to the job video lecture series. In the previous video, we have learned while loop, do while loop, for loop, some array concept. So okay, so now we will learn some basic programs of Java. So we will start with uh, swapping two number. So first of all, go to your package and make a new class. Name this class swap number. Check the main method. Click on finish. Now consider you have two numbers. Okay, int a is equal to twelve and int b is equal to forty. Let's say anything. If you want to print this and you pass arguments like a and b, then you will get an error because this is cons considered as the world float or anything so we have to change this to printf and when we will use printf we have to assign its variable modifier for example if it is integer then we have to use percentage d if it is character we have to use percentage c for float we have to use percentage f for double we have to use percentage l okay and how many variable you want to print you have to define it using defining that modifier okay so we have two variables so we will use two percentage d here percentage d sorry percentage d percentage d okay enclose this in double quote and put a semicolon Put a comma. Okay. I mean to make it more interactive. And uh, say before swapping, numbers are okay. You may have learned about escape operators, which are percentage slash n slash t, etc. Uh, slash n is used for new line and slash t is used for tab. Okay, so we are using the slash t. So how the concept of swapping is done? So let's take an example. We have a and b. Value of a is twelve and value of b is Forty. Okay. If we know the assignment operator, okay. If a is equal to b, it means value of b is assigned to a. Means if we say a is equal to b, if we say a is equal to b, what we will see, what we will, it will do. The value of a becomes. The value of b that is forty. Okay, I'm just putting it a new line for better. Here forty, you can see that I'm just putting a new line here. Yeah, forty here. Okay, so value of a is updated to forty. So how can we use it in swapping? So, ah. Uh, If we make a is equal to b and b is equal to a, then the value of a will be assigned to b. So will it be work? No, because you have already updated the value of a by the value of b. And if you are using a is equal to b is equal to a, it means the value of a is already b. Means b is equal to b. Yeah, it means it will remain same. So To remove this error, we have to introduce a new variable. Suppose it call it t. Okay. So first you have to update the value of t and store it somewhere. So now the value becomes t becomes twelve. Okay. Now the value of a is twelve, t is twelve, and b is fourteen. So what we have to do? Think. 
okay so we have to do a is equal to t is equal to a now update the value of a and b okay so how we will do that a is equal to b now the value of b a becomes 14 so now the updated value are a is equal to sorry t a and b so b now b is equal t is equal to 12 a is equal to 14 and b is equal to 14 now we have to swap the value of b and t so that we will write b is equal to t so what it will do it will change the value of t with so now the value of a and b are swap or exchange so how will we do that first of all remove this first we will introduce a new variable and make it 0 a store the value of a a store the value of a into t now update the value of a with b and finally exchange the value of b and t ok now simply print this result It is after swapping. After swapping, numbers are in this, and for illustration purpose, good. Okay, save it and run it. Before swapping, the number is 12, 14, and after swapping, the numbers are 14 and 12. So our number are exchanged. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. We will learn more basic programs in the next videos. Bye bye. Take care.